My name is Dr Marianne Lloyd-Smith. I'm Senior Advisor to National Toxics Network, an Australian-based organisation, and also to IPEN, which is an international NGO of 700 organisations in 100 countries. Um, I'm here in the UK basically to talk about our experience in Australia with unconventional gas and perhaps to give you some warnings about what will come if you adopt this industry. When we met with Dart Energy in Belgium and we met with the Belgium government and the environmental minister's advisers, um, we questioned them about the claim that no chemicals would be used in their process and very quickly they had to admit that they were using drilling fluids which are a mixture of some very toxic and nasty chemicals. When we persisted with our questioning, they finally admitted yes, they would be using hydraulic fracturing fluids, which would include chemicals. And the reason that the claim that they would use no chemicals was given was because they didn't want to alarm people. Now, I, I feel that that is being extremely circumspect with the truth and uh, very worrying. And also when you see these sort of results um, for what's happening now, the thing that comes to notice straight away is the benzene levels. Um, they are extraordinary. Uh, not only are they higher than the World Health Organization guideline for drinking water, which personally I think is extremely high, um, they're, what, 12 times the Australian drinking water standard. Again, pointing out the fact that we have probably much stronger regulations when it comes to the discharge of water. But that is very worrying. Benzene is a known carcinogen. It's associated with childhood leukaemia um, and a whole range of other health effects. And for that to be going out when they've only got a handful of wells, one really despairs of what will be emitted when they go into full production. When you look at the heavy metals or the metals they're looking at, you know, you're limited to three where you would expect to see at least a dozen or so. You would also expect to see the semi-volatile organic compounds. Um, here all I can see is total hydrocarbons. But what about all the other volatile organic compounds, which we know are there because we're picking them up in our own in, you know, independent testing. So I would suggest that is an extremely minimal requirement for a company and then to know that that water is going into an open waterway, um, which I gather people would fish and have recreation in, I'm, I'm quite surprised that that's being allowed. Altogether, this is of, of major concern, and I think the Scottish people should be worried and should be demanding answers, but most importantly, should be saying to this company, we don't want you here, we don't want this technology, it carries far too many risks and any simple cost-benefit analysis would basically show that the costs both short-term and the long-term costs certainly outweigh any benefit that this industry could bring to that community.